What's up guys, welcome to your 58th Android tutorial, I believe it is. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is access this edit text and also our list preference. Um, so what I want you guys to do now is open up our data, I believe, no, open classes activity. This again is where we kind of set up our question for the most part and we commented out some stuff. So we're going to add some uh, additional information from our preferences in this class since we had to kind of, you know, edit, comment out some of these other lines from previous tutorials. So what we're going to do is basically set up again our, sh our shared preference um, little object for the most pre for the most part. So we're going to say shared preferences. And we're going to call this get data as well, just like the last tutorial. It's going to be equal to the same thing. Again, we're just going to access the preference um, manager dot get default shared and then a con again ba get base context. Finish off our application and now we're going to get some information as well from from our preferences. Again, we have to import that and we're going to set up an edit text or I'm sorry, we're going to set up a string, um, basically two string variables. I'm going to call first string uh, edit text or et phone home and uh, what we're going to do is with et here is we're going to again sit, say get data dot get string this time and again we need to access our key reference so let's open up our preference xml here and as for our edit text we use name but uh, that's what we're going to use, I guess. Basically, we're going to change our question from our preferences. And then also, for the default default value, we're going to say Travis is. Again, that was our default question for the most part. All right, so now what we need to also do is set up our values, which will or get our values for the most part. And we're going to say string values because, again, even though we have the values equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4, which seem like they're integers, we set it up with as a string array within our array XML. So again, it's going to be a string for the most part. So we're going to set our values equal to get data dot get string because we're looking for a string as well. And then let's check out what our key was. Our key was called list. So we're going to say uh, list. Finish that off. And then default value, we're going to set up as a because if you look at this. Um, basically our default value we're going to say 4 something like that again because it takes two strings within its parameters uh, for the most part a key string and a default value again in case if our preferences doesn't have anything set it's going to have a default value of 4 now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our if and we're going to say values again you can't compare strings like string uh, called values equals one, even though basically our string reference could equal the value. Of, I mean the string value of one. We have to use a method such as uh, content equals, and then we can say equals within parentheses one. Um, so basically, if our option one has been selected, uh, our string will value will equal one, and we compare that string value to the string value of one right here. If that's the case, we can set up something within. Uh, these parentheses. So what we're going to do is we're going to say our question, which is our text view that asks, asks the question within this activity. We're going to say question uh, equals or set text to et, which will again be our edit text from our preferences. So let's test this out, make sure it works. But uh, again, that's kind of how we can pull from our, our preferences. Um, kind of just an overview or review of our last tutorial, but let's just make sure it works. All right, so let's open up our menu, go to preferences, set the edit text to something like preferences are. Uh, that's what I set it up to. Um, so we're just going to say preferences are. That's basically going to be our question if our list activity has the first option selected which it does at the moment. 
but just to make sure it works we're gonna say uh, option 2 is selected so basically that question won't be asked so let's go into our data hit start Travis is and now let's go back menu preferences change our list to option 1 which will set our value equal to 1 which again is a string so we have to use uh, contains or is equal to um, or whatever method we use content uh, content equals one so that's going to be the case because our value is set to one right now so let's open up our data hit start activity and as you can see now it says preferences are because that again our value is equal to one so it's going to allow us to use that edit text uh, which we converted into a string for the most part and then we use that string to set the text of this question so hopefully that kind of makes sense again using the preferences and how to access them um, if again we close the activity everything is going to be set for the most part and it's going to save and then kind of open up that saved data uh, the next time we run our application and so again our value is set to, to one and so it's going to be preferences are so hope you guys kind of enjoyed that understand preferences and how how they can be useful for the most part and i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial